Yo YouTube, uh, I went to Harbor Freight today and uh, bought this uh, engine here. It was on sale for 119 but I had a 20% off coupon. So I picked it up for 101 bucks. Um, this is the seven horse model. They all say it's six and a half, but this one says seven on it. Um, I'm going to cut the tape here, get into the box. Um, top right here, get this, get this out, pull that off, put that inside, really don't know what that really is, pull this back, Just... see a couple other videos on YouTube for uh, this motor and uh, it looked like it was pretty cool so I figured I'd go get myself one uh, uh, looks like the instruction uh, manual here for man owner's manual safety instructions. And let's see, here's the top. Well, this is a little bit different than what they showed on. Uh, this is a little. When they showed on YouTube, must be the older model. This must be. This is the newer model. Um, Predator engine. Um, Let's see if I can get it out of the out of the box here. Let's see, we got a spark plug wrench. We'll take the spark plug out. And then let's see what else we got down in here. If there's anything else. Looks like that might be the only thing. I thought it was supposed to come with oil. Maybe it's down inside here somewhere. Okay, well, let's get this damn thing out of here. If I can get it. Yeah. Something else is inside the box, it sounds like. Let's set this engine down. Let's see what else is in the bottom. Actually, that's it. There ain't nothing else in there, apparently. There's no motor or else, apparently. I gotta buy some of that. And put oil on it, because you can't obviously in a run without it. Um, uh, before you spill gas here, <laughs> and add engine oil. So apparently there's obviously no engine oil, so you have to put engine oil in there before you run it. Um, quick start guide. This is a quick start guide that they show you um, how to do certain adjustments and stuff. Um, Anyhow, I'm hoping I can figure out. I've seen a couple of, uh, videos where you actually have to loosen this nut right here. I don't know if you can see it uh, on the video there, but um, you have to loosen this nut right here so that, and then put a spring on it so when you get that, so that that will pull back. Because right now it won't pull back until you have to physically pull it back by hand. But with the throttle setup that I'm going to be using, and it's going to be for a mini bike, and it has the hand grip style um, throttle, so you have to have so this will pull come back on its own, or else it won't. You'd have to do adjustments. Okay. Well, this is a, a three-quarter inch shaft. It looks like it's actually got where you can actually put a bolt. There's a hole drilled in there and tap, so I won't have to use a set screw on the clutch. They claim not to use both the bolt and the set screw because apparently it has something to do with, I don't know, when you use the bolt in the center here, something to do when you try to use both. I don't know how, how true it is, but it's just something that weakens the the um, the shaft somehow. I don't know. 
go by what I the hell is that? It's something. Oh wow! It comes a they actually uh, give you a flywheel key. It actually comes with a flywheel key. That's unusual. That's neat. Usually that you have to buy that separate. That's a I want to say that's um, three sixteenths. Yep, three sixteenths flywheel key. Which actually I won't actually be needing that because my clutch that I have when I'm putting on it has a built-in uh, keyway, so I won't need to be using that keyway. This is actually where you, I think you put oil in that. Actually, shit, I guess they do got oil in it. I think still gonna have to add some to it though before I start it. I guess they put the oil right in the machine when you buy it. Nice me, I never thought they'd do that. I guess that's why the instructions actually say say um add engine oil before be operating low oil or no cause permanent damage to void your warranty. I've seen a lot of um, people will sit there and, and disconnect the low oil pressure sensor. So they say a lot of them were causing uh, them to shut off um, for like on go-karts where you go around corners and stuff. I'm guessing what happens, the oil sloshes around inside the uh, engine and it thinks it's low on oil when it really isn't until it shuts the engine off. So I see a lot of people will unplug this wire and tape it up. Or, but I don't know if I'm going to do that right offhand because I really don't want to change anything of the original engine here. So, so I'm going to pretty much keep that keep that um, that safety switch intact. I've seen a lot of people where they sat there and they will disconnect the governor on the inside, but I think that would actually void the warranty once you open up the motor. I would recommend that. Um, I mean, there's a reason why there's a governor on it, so that it don't wear the engine out. Because if you, if the engine can't, um, cut itself back going too fast it will cause it to um, wear out too fast and even cause some possible permanent damage inside this is also has the uh, overhead valve system on it um, which is pretty cool I think um, and this is the muffler obviously air cleaner Pretty cool. I don't know how the heck where you get the air where you get the where you would get the air cleaner the the filter for these but these are a little this is a little bit different than I've seen on on mine. Looks like uh just uh it's like almost like a canister almost um air filters made out of foam. You just, yeah, it's pretty cool. And it looks like that probably lasts a pretty long time. A little rubber seal that goes in between the, uh, the air cleaner and the carb and the carburetor. It just goes down there like on there like this. Um, well that's a. Uh, Probably pretty much it for now. I'll have other videos um, about that once I get um, it hooked up to my uh, go kart and everything. Um, so I, and pretty much that's about it.